Hello, this is Ike from Spot Home London and today we're going to be seeing a four bedroom flat in Canning Town. We have Canning Town Station only a 10 minute walk away. Now we do have a bus stop right outside of the apartment so you can take that one stop to Canning Town and we have the DLR as well as the Jubilee lines. Great for transportation, I mean on that line we have Stratford in one direction and then on the other side we've got Canary Wharf as well as London Bridge so definitely a great location. Now, as for food and convenience shopping, there is a co-op, so that's going to be right outside of this apartment building, so a few seconds walk and you'll be able to buy any groceries. Now, as for the rooms today, we're going to be seeing two of the four, so let's go ahead and check them out. So here's the front entrance and the corridor that leads to the kitchen down at the end. On the right, the open room is going to be bedroom C, next to that is bedroom D. However, to our immediate right, we'll have the bathroom. So here's the first room we'll see. It's got the bathtub to the left, we've got the tiled floor, toilet and mirror as well as the sink in front of us. And to the right, we'll have the radiator for your towels. So that's the bathroom. Next, this is bedroom D. So here's bedroom C. This room is a lovely room, very spacious. We have the double bed to the left. On the wall next to that, we can see the heating with the radiator. And then over at the far end, we have the window and coffee table, as well as, of course, the couch. And right at the entrance of the room, we'll have the storage with the standalone wardrobe. We've got a shelf up top, hanging our clothes there. And there is a full length mirror on this door and then shelving is going to be in the right compartment. Now moving on down the corridor we have the laundry room area in here so we'll have the washing machine down below and then around to the right we'll just have some other utilities such as the ironing board. Now here at the end of the corridor we'll have the kitchen, so we can see the countertop to the left, the dining table in front of us, and then bedroom A, and B is going to be to the right. So now as for all of the appliances, we can see obviously on top we have the stove, below that is in fact the freezer. Next to that, the fridge. You can see the oven and microwave along here on the right. Next, we've got some storage with the bin there. And then right at the end, we have the dishwasher. So in addition, we do have plenty of storage up above in the cupboards. So we can have a look at one for an example. It's a very lovely kitchen. And finally, we'll see the bedroom. So bedroom B, right as we enter, we have some storage with the nightstand here. So we've got two drawers in there. And we'll step in and see around the corner to see the double bed, desk, access to the private balcony, and then the standalone wardrobe for any clothing you may need to store. So we've got the hangers in there. And at the bottom, two extra drawers for additional storage. So we can have a look outside on the balcony. And then a final view from this angle reveals the heating on the wall with the radiator. So that concludes it for this tour. So that's been the two rooms today. For more information, make sure to check out spotterhome.com. Bye-bye.